Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be comparing a lot of speed tricks. So, you know, all the speed tricks and kind of glitches in the game to make your car go a lot faster like this. And then we're going to compare them all, see which ones are faster, see which ones are most effective. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Right, we're going to start with the prior. This is going to be the baseline car. So we all knew that it was the fastest car in the game so we've lowered this we made it as fast as possible the calico is also on this list so i'm going to show that straight after and show the difference between the calico lowered and no grip tires versus the prior now showing the calico so the prior did do my proportion of the drag strip in 17.4 seconds now we'll see how the calico does a calico is supposedly you know the new fastest vehicle I, I don't know if people still count it as the fastest vehicle because we're using low no grip tires here uh, but this is just to see how much faster it is. And then we can start getting, you know, all the glitch vehicles on. So we can compare all the glitch vehicles with these two cars and see the difference. Now the Calico was 16.8 seconds. So it was faster than the prior. It was, you know, 17.4 to 16.8. Not that much faster. But it was faster. I would say the prior is better because it actually can handle. So now we have a baseline. Let's get on to the glitches. I did say let's get on to the glitches. But... Let's look at the Imperator, the Imperator wheelies, and if we get a perfect wheelie, and we also get, you know, the boost at the end of the wheelie, this is a tip I've shared, like if you boost right at the end of the wheelie, it carries on wheeling, so doing that method, let's see what we get. We are also using nitrous all the way through, and it's actually slower than the prior, it's 18 seconds. I was quite shocked to see that, to be honest, I actually thought it was quicker than the prior, uh, I can't remember the last time I did checked but I thought it was. First speed trick is actually the Fenbeng glitch. I called it that. It's a stupid name, but um, I've not got at coming up with names. Uh, I did found I, I did find this glitch and I, back then when I found it, I decided to call it that. I don't know why. And all you really do on this is make sure you don't have bulletproof tires and just kick your back arches and your front arches if you want. And then your car will go way faster than it should. Now how much faster we can see with the timer, as you can see by the speedo clocks, I says, I say as you can see, but my speedo clock is black. Right, 17.6 seconds, this is another high speed car, we are going to be doing high speed runs as I said in the intro, so um, you know it's not all drag strip, but 17.6 seconds, it's just 0.2 seconds slower than the base prior. But I can't stress enough, this kind of glitch is a bit, you know, touchy. So you could probably get it way faster than this. And you can also get it slower as well. Now we're using the Calico again. And you're probably thinking, why are we using it again? And it's because we're merging the glitch that we did before where we kicked the fenders. But uh, the, the Calico is one of the easiest cars to do it with. All you do is you just side swipe the gate. So in the airport, you just drive a bit, side swipe the gate and we should be done. Now this is very, very like noticeably faster, that, if that makes sense. It's it's noticeably faster and the, it, it's more the acceleration, the time it gets to get to its top end speed is how it affects it really. So really you can expect, you know, a lot of cars in GTA, most cars in GTA, when they're damaged, they drive faster. Right, the next speed trick, which is the front pop tires glitch, I, I don't know what don't know what to call this but it's actually where you pop the front two tires of course you need no bulletproof tires it doesn't work on all cars it works on all wheel drive cars um in furnace it works great on 9f it works great on lg retro it works good on and um yeah so as you can see by this the top end when i get to the end of the airstrip you can see how fast this car is actually going now there is a very d big downside to this is you can hardly turn and we get to the end of the drag strip in 13.5 seconds now, the, the best part of this is the fact that this gets high end. This is more of a high end speed car, a speed tip glitch, whatever. But it is the quickest so far with 13.5 seconds it gets to the end of the strip. Now, obviously, that will fly past any car, especially if, you know, you let your friend go first, like three, four seconds first, and then you, you get you pass him at the end of the drag strip, at, you know, Mach 1 speed. It's funny to watch. Now finally, a video that's surfaced a lot, I think this one got famous on TikTok. Um, this is the first time actually me trying it. I did find it a bit fidgety, sometimes your car would blow up, um, but and sometimes you know your car's slower. It's a bit like the Fenman glitch where your car sometimes slower, your car sometimes faster. 
but I did this three times, three different times, and I just did the best, you know, performing version. Now, if you look at the time, it's 15.1 seconds, which is really fast, but it's one of the weirdest ones. I don't know if it was, you know, the fact that no one was near me or anything. It just didn't feel that fast, but it was. And even though you see me rocking back and forward, you can still kind of turn. Right, okay, we've done the airstrip races and to be honest you know we're not always on the airstrip we have to be in a drag race scenario with our friends if we want to you know race somebody there so that's why i started here on the highway and this is going to be like a highway pull kind of test and this just tests you know top speed basically so i'm going to do it usable so i'm not going to go into races to you know turn the traffic off i'm going to do it in an actual free mode scenario and race these all obviously here starting with a prior like we did in the drag strip race so again we can get a baseline of how fast the prior is and we all know that the prior is a very fast high speed car so i stopped the timer on the ramp starting to go up to the sandy shores way if that makes any sense you can see on screen anyway and the prior actually did it in 48.63 so a very quick time i mean we don't really have any time to base it off but this is the base time 48.63 a prior that's lowered let's get on to the next vehicles right i'm not going to speak much about the calico because it is you know the slower one of the two versions that we're going to do and the calico finished uh, the highway pull in 44.734 so four seconds faster and remember that's just the calico with low grip tires and lowered so it's four seconds faster than the prior now again i'm not going to speak about this one much because it's not going to take in that much effect if we're not on a short strip uh if we do the perfect wheelie and the nitrous you think would give you a better chance of winning but it was a 53.695 for the apocalypse imperator um you know doing the perfect wheelie and the perfect boost still is too slow now the Fenben glitch on the Comet Retro. Now again, you can do this with other cars, a lot of other cars actually, and it can be faster, it can be slower. Um, this is a very fidgety glitch, but this definitely affects the handling a lot. So you are, you know, it's like you have low grip tires. It really f does feel like that. And um, turning is quite difficult, but manageable. Uh, there's a few cars on this list that don't even turn. So this turns um and we ended up getting 43 like 43 seconds which is you know way faster than the imperator of course and um so we actually got 43 seconds which is a, a second and a half faster than the calico which is lowered and low grip tires not that much of a difference but you know five nearly six seconds faster than the um prior so yeah the, you can tell these glitches are getting a bit dramatic they are affecting the cars a lot right now getting a bit more interesting the calico with you know the little glitch where we hit it at the side on the gates of the airport and um yeah you can t you can definitely feel again i said the this is more of acceleration um it gets to speed very fast it could be you know 10 20 miles an hour faster than the stock vehicle and it hits 41.6 seconds um, to the end of this kind of race <laughs> now getting to you know my personal favorite and my most fun uh, glitch which is the one where you pop the front two tires I did it with the Infernus and I think this is the similar with every other car it's just it's just not manageable you can't really you can't really do this without crashing you know if I tried this 30 40 times I would probably get one you know get it once where I actually don't crash but um, I could not actually complete this highway kind of realistic uh, run because, yeah, I just kept crashing. But I just want you to know that if this did make it, I think it would have, you know, been 10 seconds faster than the rest. This is so fast. Like, it does, on the air, airport, it does 257 miles an hour, which, um, you know, no nothing else can come close to. Now the damaged allergy, um, yeah, this is a weird one because I expected it to handle like crap. Like I did not expect to end up finishing this. I did let off the throttle a bit on this one um, because I wouldn't be able to make the turn. You know, I was I wasn't 
taking it off for a while. I was just, you know, letting go for a bit just so I could make a turn. And yeah, it ended up doing it in 41.6, which is actually the same. Um, it is, which is actually the same as, you know, the damage calico. The damage calico was split second uh, quicker. But you really would not be able to tell the difference. Maybe if I didn't let off, I would have actually won this. But yeah, this was really interesting to me. But yeah, let me know if you want to see a video on me doing, you know, teaching you how to do these glitches. I mean, I think they're pretty much out there anyway. But if you want me to do all of these methods in one video, uh, then let me know. I, I don't know if people will be interested in that. But hopefully you found this useful. I don't know in what scenario you'd find it useful, except messing about with your friends. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy this video, and hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day. See you guys in the next one.